Okay, so Bing asks the question on, hey, you know, I don't really, you know, the Course in Miracles is dualistic. Um, I'm just paraphrasing, I might have got this wrong. So someone's saying, the Course in Miracles is dualistic. I don't resonate any longer with words, or I don't resonate, or I've never resonated with words like evil uh, or, you know, uh, uh, or um, evil or darkness or sin, which is, which is mentioned in one of the, um, the lessons. And I would just share, I, th I think I've been doing the course for some 10 or 15 years. Um, I think 10, 12, 15, 13 years in a row. Um, that it does change over the years. Um, I sort of do the lessons because for me, they're aiming to get into that mystical place. The course calls it the holy instant. Um, but I could, you know, I can call it that to timeless, eternal peace and flow. Uh, where the, it seems the continuous miraculous is happening all the time. So for me, it is at that vibration. Uh, I do remember, and I'll go along with this, I think, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure that each lesson has a slightly different calibration, even though as a whole, the lessons calibrate at the level of enlightenment. I'm sure uh, some of the lessons are much more dualistic. And um, I think that's probably right. For a, le um, I think that's probably one of the lessons. I don't think there's many of the lessons which uses very dark, heavy language, but there's a couple of in the lessons. I think it's more in the text where they create quite dualistic uh, languaging. So I do uh, do take on board the comment, share that this is just too. I don't resonate with this, and this is too dark. Um, however, I would say for me, the rhythm of doing the daily lessons over and over again. Um, and what was shared with me by Dr. Hawkins that, um, you know, it tends to happen is that miraculous does happen when you do them. I see it as they're under an energy field. All the lessons are under, you know, you've got like, I know this is going to sound very dualistic, but, you know, you've got all the that vibration where the Course in Miracles angels and where the intention of the Course in Miracles lessons is absolute freedom, even though admittedly there are some dualistic languaging. And I think uh, on some level that is on purpose because people often start the, the lessons in duality. Uh, and I think it's a little bit unfortunate in some places, the languaging, but I think very rarely in the lessons gets very uh, dark. But I, I do do them on a, um, on a daily basis. I did my lesson today. And uh, now after many, many years, I, you know, um, any sort of dark words, my experience is I just, they don't really, I just skim over them because I don't feel I need to, I don't feel they have any effect on me, but I just do the lesson and just to just be in the rhythm of connecting to that energy and being under the grace of A Course in Miracles and my inner intention to be absolutely free in those divine states of the miraculous. So I think for me, it is, it is a, it is a, like a, you know, it's like washing myself every day and making sure nothing's building up uh, from the ego and that, and my intention to be absolutely free. So I do do it on that level. I think, you know, the when languaging catches you into duality, like, uh, and I can understand this with words like evil and darkness, um, for me, there is another thing in just using that lesson, or if not that lesson, other lessons, uh, just to wash out any sort of dualistic reaction to words like evil or sin. Uh, myself, evil and sin, I mean, uh, I think that is probably unhelpful at uh, the level of 600, but because it can create duality, it can create demonization of the ego. But I, for myself, it's like, well, it's just referring to, you know, identifying with darkness within my ego is all it means. And that that's unhelpful and just to let it go it doesn't really i doesn't i don't really hook into that stuff but want to keep the rhythm of the lessons i don't actually you know haven't done it many many years even though i did, did it, do it religiously if it said five minutes i want to do it five minutes or every hour i want to do it exactly every hour and i think that was important to have that willingness in the beginning but now you know when those darker states and darker days are gone it's more like you know, I, I trust my intuition. No, I don't have to do five minutes today, but I'm just going to keep on with the rhythm. Um, anyway, I am a very firm, I do, I do love the course. And I do love the effects of it. And I do love washing out, you know, like I pray for a miracle to see the word evil differently, or I place my reaction to the word evil and sin 
uh, into God's infinite light and love, and I pray for miracles. So I think all of that stuff can wash out until it becomes an effortless experience doing the course. Um, okay, so I'm going to stop. <laughs>